When I first got this one, I don't know what to make. My boss is still right there looking at me, like my personality. I'm very easygoing. So, yeah, I'll just... Um, for those who are interested in making this crocky, there's a new update for you. I just figured out that if you got one ball of the Burnett blanket, you can make at least one, two, and three crockies. And this is my first one, and the second one, and the third one, and this is when I use up all the yarn from this ball so this is the head and this is the body so that's pretty good like one ball you can make three of my crockies which is not bad so if you're interested you can grab this crochet pattern from my pattern store don't look at my messy table i just got back from michael's and this is what i've got these are what I got. I have some beautiful greens and some beautiful yellow. And guess what? I finally found this color. I've been looking for this about a year now and I'm so happy to find it. And my goals, I grabbed the last three. So I'm fully stuck for my pumpkin sword. I also get this color. I'm thinking about making a teddy bear from Stephanie's pattern, but I'm not so sure yet. I'll see how much time I have. Maybe I will make it, maybe I will not. Um, I don't know. I also found this color at my local Walmart. I've been looking for this color like forever. And I cannot find this anywhere else. And all of a sudden they are just all there. So I have to grab a bunch. Actually, I grabbed the last four of this. And surprisingly, this is also on sale. So I got it in a very good price. Look, there's a mushroom growing on my grass. But I don't know what type of mushroom they are, but it looks really cute. Whoa! There's more! And I think there's another one right here. This one is a little bit creepy. I'm traveling with the past. Ocean of yesterday. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my messy table. This is my maker's table. Look how messy it is. Well, anyway, um, when I look at this color, I decided to pick it because I don't know, somehow it linked me directly to my crocky right there. So I'm thinking maybe I can make a baby green pastel green crocky and then I also pick this yellow maybe I can use this yellow to make the crown I'm going to make this one now can go forever
my friends, this is what I made this past weekend. I made this much crackies. I think these will be enough for one Comic Con, but I'm still not sure. I wish I could have more time to make more, but obviously I don't. And I found this new color during the weekend, so I decided to make a pastel crocky. And it turns out really good. I like this color. I think this one will stand out with these little guys. Yeah, so, oh my god, I need a bigger table to show you all. But. Okay, they look really, really good. I cannot get in ready into the artist Ellie mode. I'm so excited right now. And looking at these made, kind of bring me back to that, you know, mood. So, yeah, I think I'm almost ready for it. Okay, this is part of it, and I'm going to show you more. If you watch my previous vlog, then you know I like to store my dolls in the clear bag like this. So that way, when I open my container, I can easily tell where are my dolls, and I can easily to find the ones that I want. And these are basically the bag comes from the yarn I bought. Okay, what is that? Let me show you. It looks like something like this. Every time I go to Walmart to buy yarn, it always comes with a bag. But not all of them, but most of them comes with a bag like this, which I like very much. Because this way it will keep the yarn absolutely clean. And I always recycle the bag. I don't throw this away. So these bags become my inventory bag. So every time I make dolls, I just put them into the bag like this and then use a clip. Where's my clip? Yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. I just use a clip like this. This is what I found in Ikea too. And I just clip them like this and they're done. So I can just put them aside and store this with the others. Very convenient. Okay, there's more. And these are what I found this couple days. I found this beautiful color from Burnett Velvet. I believe this one is totally turquoise. And it's so beautiful. I I know I had to get it. So I give it a test crochet try. I made I made this little cute guys. Look at him. Oh my god. This is Squirtle. Yes, when I look at this color, I think about Squirtle. It turned out perfect. So, and that's why I went back to get three more because this is the last three. So I had to get it because I know if I don't, they might disappear forever. That's how I buy my yarn. There's not such thing as yarn holder. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to brainwash you, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, this this um, squirtle is super super cute and it's so soft oh i love it so much i made more than just one i made a couple look at this oh my god and they're hugging each other oh my god i have a feeling that people is gonna love this so i made more i try my best to make more i make this much <laughs> I made this much in two days and they all turned out so good. I love them already. I'm thinking maybe I should make more, but I can because I still have other things to do. Okay, there's one thing about velvet I would like to share with you. There's a tip and trick. Normally, if you make doll with velvet, um, the more you keep it or you play around with it, sometimes you will have this yarn tail comes out like that. All you can do is you can just cut it off or you can just tuck it back to the doll. Um, I normally tuck it back. What I usually do is I will just tuck it back to the doll and voila, problem solved. Just like that. So yeah, it's very easy. But the reason why you will see those yarn tail, because the material of the velvet yarn, they are more slippery and sometimes they just you know slip out of the amigurumi and that's no biggie as long as you secure it well it shouldn't be a problem the more i make this project the more i'm in love with this velvet yarn this color by the way this is not sponsored but i'm open to collaborating if there's any yarn brand see this and you want to collaborate with me my dm is open for you uh, 
And so far, I use the velvet the most because I feel that's the best texture that I love. I don't regret using them. Um, the biggest problem I have is the colors are the colors can be very limited, so I have to be creative. Like this project with a squirtle with this velvet squirtle, I use this totally turquoise to make most of the body, the head, the hand, the feet, the tail. And this part, I don't remember this, the name of this color because I bought this color a couple of years ago at Michael's and now they don't have it anymore. I think I'll just try my luck and look online. But to be honest with you, if you don't have this color, you can just easily change it to the normal yarn that you have. For example, in the velvet line, there is no dark brown. This probably be the darkest brown I could find. Since I don't have the dark brown, so I just use the acrylic yarn to make the shell and the rest part. I would just use whatever color I have from velvet leftover yarn that I have. This is how it look like. What do you think? I feel like I said, like I do all the time. I always mix and match the yarn just to create the project. So I'm not so picky that I have to use the same brand of the yarn or material to create that certain object unless my customer requests so otherwise I'm very easy going on the yarn like my personality I'm very easy going so I would just use whatever I have and create as much as I can speaking of creation like here I make how many one two three four five six I make six of these in Wait, wait, when did I get this? Um, I make six of these last night. Yes, because when I figure out I only have one ball of the totally turquoise, I think I probably won't have enough. So I actually, to take me to Walmart and I grab the three and I think this is the most fast doll project I've ever made. Yeah, in one day, I think, because last night I went to bed around 12 and I just finished this in this afternoon so yeah about one and a half days so this is pretty good the pastel cracky and the new color line cracky I think these I can pack these and bring them with me to Calgary Expo speaking of Calgary Expo if you're out and about come to my booth and come say hi to me and come say hi to my amigurumis You know, I've been using Burnett for most of my projects for a while. And when it comes to colors, especially the color from the Sam family, I feel I can almost go colorblind. Cause you know, every time I go to store, I see this color and I'm like, okay, I can grab it. But I'm not so sure that, hey, maybe I have that color at home, but I don't want to waste the opportunity. So I grab it anyway. And this is what happened. <laughs> I end up having so many different yellow. This one is sun soaked. So it looks like yellow, right? Hey, but look at this one. This is another yellow. This is a brighter yellow. And this one, I believe this one is a school bus. Yeah, school bus yellow. Yeah, like that. You see the comparison right there? And when you think this one is bright enough, here comes another brighter one. <laughs> like this one is pale merry gold yeah so when you put them all together you can easily tell the differences but believe me if you're in a store you cannot that's why i have all three of them speaking of the yellow this is probably my favorite yellow it's a little bit dark i believe this color is more like a mustard yellow because i feel this is more like an autumn vibe to me okay but on the label it says it says gold but oh well 
I don't know. It doesn't really look like gold gold to me, but well, it's pretty. I have it and I love it. So, do you have the same experience that when you go yarn shopping that you go colorblind like me? It's okay. Just grab them all like that. Okay, this is not the fun part. It just oh, they're all tangled up together. Oh. Why? Mm. Okay. Oh, fun it. <laughs> 